Hey guys, in this video I'd like to go over how to find the square root and the cube root of a number. So the idea behind these concepts is that when finding the square root of something, you're finding the side lengths of the square that the area is this number. So for instance, if I give you the number, let's say I had a square instead that has side lengths of 7. To find the area of this square, what you need to do is multiply two of the sine lengths. So we'd multiply 7 times 7 and we would get an area of 49. But if we were to reverse this process, so let's say we didn't know the side lengths and we called them x. The concept of square root is that you're trying to figure out what number times itself gives you the number 49. But instead of setting it up like this, we use this symbol, the square root symbol or the radical. And underneath, is the number you're trying to, or the base of it. So what, what this is asking is the square root of 49 is essentially saying what number times itself gets you to 49. Now in this case 49 is a perfect square so the answer to that is 7. So the same concept applies for cubes. The only difference is that cubes are three-dimensional shapes so we have to figure out what side times what side times what side? So three numbers. So I'll get, come up with a number and we'll work backwards to it. So suppose we have the number four. So if we have four, four, and four, and if we multiply these four things together, we would get 64. So that's the volume of this cube. Now what the opposite of that is doing the cube root. So instead of writing it like this, like I've shown, let me scoot this over. Uh, if I move it over here, the cube root of this would be shown like this. It looks like the square root sign with a little three here, and then the base of that is the number 64. And what it's asking is, what number times itself three times gets you to 64? And in this case, because we wrote it down, we know that it's, that it's four. But down below, I've got some sample problems that I'd like to go over with you. So here, what this problem is asking is for the square root of 25. And what that's saying is what number times itself is equal to 25. And if you take a second to think about it, I hope you arrive at the answer 5. And then we'll do the same thing for 144. We're asking what number times itself is equal to 144. And in this case, it's 12. So some of the earlier square roots are a little easier to memorize. The cube roots get a little bit more challenging because they get larger faster. So for 343 and 1728, they may not be ones you have memorized, but you can start using some math tricks to help you solve these. Take a look at the last number. If it's an odd number, your root is going to be odd. If you have an even number as your last one, your root is going to be even. So if you don't know where to start, uh, there's some like common sense things you can kind of use to help you out, plus this trick here will be really helpful. So in jumping over to cube roots, we're trying to think what number times itself three times will get us to 343. And having like a little bit of background knowledge is really helpful here. Like for instance, I know that five cubed is 125. And that's an odd number, and that's too low. So I can't, it can't be 5. And my next guess should be to go to the next highest odd number. So I'm going to try 7. And I know that 7 times 7 is 49, so I'm going to multiply it by 7 one more time. 7, 49 times 7. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34. What? 343 is perfect. Okay, so I got lucky here. I only had to guess one time, but I did have some, it was a guided guess. I knew that it needed to be odd, and I knew that it needed to be slightly above five. So I arrived at seven as the cube root. I'm gonna try that same principle with this one. Like I see that eight is even, so I'm guessing it needs to be an even root. I know that 10 cubed is 1,000, and that's too low as well. So I need to go a little bit above that. I'm gonna go to the next even number above 10, which is 12. So 12 times 12 times 12 is my guess. I think this is going to be right, but 12 times 12 is 144. And then 144 times one more 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Off to a good start. A 2 times 4 is 8 again. 2 times 1 is 2. 
uh, carry is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now when I add these all up, I have 8, carry this, and I get 1728, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So the answer to this case, the root answer, the cube root of 7, 1728 is 12. Now, I do think it's wise to kind of memorize the first 15 perfect squares and the first 10 perfect cubes. It doesn't make sense to memorize all of them, like well beyond this, but memorizing the early ones gives you a good place to start and can help focus your guess and your estimate. So I hope this video helps you solving your homework. Um, leave any questions down in the comments below or if you have any suggestions, leave them there as well. Good luck.